Hey you guys, it's Megan. How are you doing? I am not doing great. <laughs> I have had such a long, draining work week. I just, I just can't even think about it. <laughs> like, I'm just so like done, I feel like mentally, and I'm only halfway done with my Friday, but I just really needed to take a mental break and then I'll get back on the computer. But not every week is great. Not every Friday am I jumping for joy. I mean, I am internally, but I just don't even have the energy. And it was just a really like intense week just like so many meetings and so much thinking and just so much like pivoting to do like different last minute things and i just feel like i have been behind this whole week and it feels horrible <laughs> so i i'm really looking forward to the weekend just to relax decompress and all that but tonight I have one of my best friends birthday parties and so I'm going to get myself um, ready for that even though I would if I had to choose right now I would rather stay home but I'm definitely gonna go and have fun with her and the group of people that is gonna be there so um, I know it'll be fun and distract me from my misery that I'm feeling right now but I wanted to show you what I got Caitlin for her birthday because I went really like risky and I got her to pieces of clothing which I rarely buy people clothing as gifts I've bought my sister a few things one that comes to mind like was for her birthday I think and when I saw these pieces I just thought of Caitlyn and so I have a gift receipt and everything and I'm hoping she likes them but if not she can get like a gift card instead or exchange them or whatever. So I wanted to show you them just in case you also like them and they're from Target and I also got myself something at Target because I couldn't resist. Um, but they have a lot of cute clothes right now. So I'll show you what I picked out. So this is the first dress that I found for Caitlyn and I know you can't like see it as well but it's like a wrap style v-neck dress and I just thought this was so cute and like cool because she's been into kind of like vintage style clothes and not necessarily that this is like full on like vintage but it just gave me like her vibe and she could do like something really cool with it because she's also a really great like seamstress and so if she liked aspects of it but she wanted to do something different with it she could use it as like a base and then jazz it up for whatever she wants but I just thought this was really pretty a really like nice skirt and I believe there's pockets yes so gotta love that and I just hope she kind of likes it or <laughs> she can exchange it so this is the first piece and then this one I just think is so pretty with this collar that has like a little bit of like a lace edge to it and it's just kind of like a plain dress so you could definitely like cinch the waist in with like a belt and it was so hard to de decide what size and everything and I think it's a little bit of a high low um cut but not like too extreme and I don't know I just thought it was cute I just really liked it and they made me think of her so I hope <laughs> that I didn't um go too risky and get stuff that she didn't like but I just thought this would be something fun and different and then what I got myself is this awesome like oversized blazer and the lighting isn't great this afternoon but it's kind of like a light blue and like 
dark green type of like checker print and it's super super nice like this was I think $35 and it's fully lined um, it has one button and then like nice pockets and I wish you could feel this fabric it's like so soft and just feels really really high quality so I love me an oversized blazer and I can't wait for fall fashion so this was just speaking my name and I can't wait to wear it with like a dress and then wear this over it like I just love a like form-fitting dress and then like a loose um, blazer I think that's such a cool look so I'll link all these pieces down below for you guys I'm finally done with work for the week oh my god <laughs> so thankful <laughs> that this week is over but next week is already looking really insane but I just heard the UPS guy pull up and I was expecting two PR packages so let's go see what's in those so I got a box from Kiss and a box from Fresh. So I'm really, really intrigued by the Kiss box. I love like, this is their shipping box and it has like a metallic kissy lips and they put the label right on top of it, like US, UPS. So I peeled that off, but um, they reached out to me and I was so shocked and just excited. And so they sent me like a variety of their products from their different brands. Oh my gosh, look how intense these eyelashes are. The mink satin, matte satin, huh, those, I don't know if I'll be able to wear those, but this seems more like my speed. The So Blessed, My Lash But Better. Ooh, this is a new line. And then they have um, So Real. So that's a little more intense. Ooh, maybe I'll wear a pair of these tonight. Like these ones, especially the So Real. Um, and then they have Magnetic Eyeliner Lashes. I've always wanted to try those, like for... A year or two since that style has come out intriguing and then ooh, ooh, lash glue liner okay that is the most brilliant thing I've ever heard of I am gonna have to try that because yeah unless I bet these come with lash glue like a little bit in there but I got rid of my lash glue and then they sent some Impress Nails, which is a Kiss brand, and I adore this color. This is called Picture Purplect, like perfect. <laughs> a little play on words, and that is one of my favorite colors, like that kind of dusty lavender. Ooh, <gasps> these are gorgeous. These are like a coffin shape french manicure that like comes to a point in the middle what are these called these are called so french and then some of them have like a little gem oh my god those are amazing and look at these stunners so these are not impress these you would have to glue on so these um are medium length and it's like my um like ceiling fan keeps reflecting in here these are almost like reddish iridescent like they're really cool and these are also like a coffin shape i would say um i don't know what these ones are called they don't really have a name hmm i'm not sure what the style is called actually Unless they're just called classy. I don't know. But that is so, so fun. I feel like I want to put on these nails, but I just don't have time. But I think I'm going to try to wear these lashes tonight and look really extra. <laughs> so thank you so much to Kiss. What a fun array of products. And then this fresh box is a mystery to me. And they always send... It's so like beautifully wrapped. Oh, and it's like, you can just slide it off, which I appreciate. So let's see what's in here. 
Oh yeah, so they are in Ulta stores now, which is so exciting. And oh my god, this is like all the best products. Oh my gosh, this is literally my favorite products. So we have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, which I am always using. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. The Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. I really like this if I, I don't want to use like an acidic toner, but I kind of want something to like just wipe down my face after I wash it. I really, really like that. Oh my goodness, this is so generous. The Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is one of my favorite moisturizers and their original Lotus Youth Preserve moisturizer. Oh my god, I'm so spoiled. And then, oh, this is a new product that I've been testing out. So this will be a backup. The Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovering Recovery Lip Mask. This is so good, you guys. And I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh my gosh, that is so more than enough, of course. But wow, this is an amazing array of products and it's literally all stuff that I use. But I do have a full size of this and I actually realized I already have a backup of this. And, wait for it, and they recently sent me these two products that I already have, the Fresh Sugar Lip Polish and the Lip Wonder Drops. So this is like kind of like an exfoliating lip um, product. So I want to do a giveaway with these four items and I have all these and love them um, but I won't be able to get to them before like I use up my other ones. So I would love to send this little um, bundle to one of you guys and all you have to do to enter is make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and like this video. Leave a comment down below on this video that includes your Instagram username and make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's how I'll contact the winner and DMs on Instagram are just much more reliable than YouTube comments like to notify the person. So definitely make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment with your Instagram name, and follow me on Instagram at megfish8. And in one week, I will pick a winner for these products. And it's open internationally. You just have to um, be willing to provide your shipping address. So I can't wait for one of you guys to try some of these great products. So I decided to try the magnetic ones because they were actually like the smallest and I really like them. I like the style, they're not too big because I have hooded eyes and like most lashes are too big. So these were the Charm uh, Magnetic and so far so good with the Magnetic Lash Glue. So this is like a black liquid eyeliner and then it magnetizes to the lashes which have little magnets. So I cut off the lash chunk on each lash, like the longest ones. And so that's how these are looking. So we'll see how they go throughout the night. But I decided I really am never gonna use these big lashes. Um, and I most likely would just use that black liquid liner uh, glue. So I'm gonna add these to the little giveaway so you guys can try some of the Kiss products too. It got so dark all of a sudden. It's been storming a lot in the evening. So I'm hoping that doesn't mess up tonight, but I am wearing. <laughs> some clothes. I'm wearing my favorite dress that I got at Marshall's. Literally, this is one of my best purchases. This just like tube dress. It's like nice and flowy, super comfortable, breathable, all the things that I look for. And for my fragrance tonight, I'm super excited because I haven't even done barely anything since getting into perfume. And I'm using the Parfum de Marley Cassilli. And this is such a beautiful, like really sweet, fruity, floral feminine scent. And I just think this is perfect for like a summer party. So I'm really, really excited to wear that tonight. 
and I'm just feeling really excited and all my like stress about work has just melted away and I'm just ready to have a really really great weekend. Morning you guys. I'm in the drunk drunken oh my god Duncan drive through. Um, I didn't drink that much last night. <laughs> last night was so much fun and definitely drank more than normal, but it was so fun. It was a lot of fun for Caitlin's birthday. I didn't like pull out my camera or anything, but she set up a really fun like casino style party and then she had all these prizes for us. Like she shouldn't be giving us prizes. <laughs> But it was super fun and then we were just like all reminiscing because we went to high school together um, Like all the people that were there and so we were like talking about how people we remembered and like different things that we remembered happening and It was just so funny and then Caitlin brought out our old yearbook So we were looking through those and it was just so cringy and so hilarious and we just had the best time. And um, two of the other girls are really into reading, so we were like swapping like book recommendations. So I ordered a few books. Um, they had a bunch of recommendations, but I ended up just ordering two, and then I have more like in my cart for the future because I usually go overboard and buy like 10 books at once and then it takes me so long to actually read them, but the ones that I ordered are called The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose, and then Whispers and the Roars by Kay Webster. Those two seem the most interesting. So I ordered those, and then the other ones that they recommended that I haven't read yet are The Chain by Adrian McKinty and The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Moss. So if you want some more recommendations, those were ones that they really liked. So anyway, it was just a really good night. And now of course I'm at the Dunkin' Drive Through, but they like the app wouldn't let me order ahead which was really weird. So I'm just gonna have to read out my order and hope for the best. Um, and this morning, uh, the Salvation Army is coming to our house to pick up like actually quite a few furniture pieces that we've like unearthed in our basement and that we just don't really need in like the main part of our house. So. That is gonna be amazing, but we don't know when they're gonna come. It's just kind of like, it could be any time today. And I didn't tell you guys, but my dad um, twisted his ankle. He thought he broke it, but thankfully he just twisted it. But he's on crutches, so he like can't help us at all. So thankfully like the Salvation Army has like burly people that can lift the furniture and stuff so it's not like we would necessarily need him to help but yeah we had to like move everything ourselves and then my mom and sister did a lot of it when I was at the party so I was spared as well but yeah my poor dad like literally in his first few weeks of retirement now he like can't even do anything <laughs> So, anyway, that's kind of what's been going on here. Oh my god, you guys. We have been just organizing and cleaning like crazy people. My car is full. Oh, there's my mom. My car is full of recycling stuff to take to the recycling center. And my mom's car is full of stuff to take to Goodwill. And Salvation Army still hasn't showed up. So, we're like breaking and me and Rachel are going to the recycling center and then we'll go to Goodwill later but it's like 12 o'clock now so we were like we really need to take a break to get lunch and the recycling center is by Popeyes and we haven't been there in a, quite a while so we're gonna go get that as a reward and I am literally soaking with sweat like just so gross <laughs> 
feeling but I'm glad I didn't like get ready or anything this morning other than like washing my face because it would have all been for nothing. <laughs> Me and mom got the Popeye's chicken sandwich and Rachel and dad got a huge thing of their nuggets. I don't know if it says it, it but <laughs> the key that we would always recommend is their black and ranch. This so is good. the best sauce mm -hmm. ever. And then the Cajun fries mm -hmm. are also really good. And the beignets. Oh yeah, the chocolate beignets with real Hershey's chocolate filling are insane. Round two, you guys. Oh, two car loads to the Goodwill. Well, we have my car and my mom's car. So, God, I am like so exhausted and sweaty. I'm literally sweating from like behind my ears. That is <laughs> like um, much energy. We are like expending or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know how to think right now. Here's a super, super funny thing that we found in our um, decluttering. So I wrote Merry Christmas, but like the wrong Mary. Great Christmas tree. And then I wrote Dear Rachel, Happy Christmas. Every year we get a Barbie doll for Christmas. Love, Megan. <laughs> well, I said Happy Christmas, like Harry Potter. So this is like iconic. Well, you guys, we have been insane today. I can't even explain it to you, but we used to have three couches in this room and it looks crazy because we're still going through stuff but the floor is clear so that's amazing um but we got one couch taken today by the salvation army so then we like rearranged the furniture and then this used to be in rachel's room and we carried this down and it was a nightmare and then i hulked out for five seconds and lifted like the whole thing by myself and then my arms turned to jello and i was like ah! I was, like panicking so I was, like, yeah uh -oh, yeah I can't no <laughs> so my mom is gonna try to use this as like her work desk but we're just like not sure if she's gonna like it um but at least we have it for like decor and stuff but yeah, this is like, I don't even want to put the coffee table back because I, I love how like open it is, but we, we probably will. <laughs> our reward tonight for working hard all day is watching our Disney family trip video from 2006 that we found in our basement. And apparently me and Rachel went up on the luau stage. There we are, right there. Rachel drug me up. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe she did that. So what, we're gonna do the luau? Oh yeah, do the hula. I'm not even wearing my lei, I took it off. <laughs> I was 13 and Rachel was eight. <laughs> This is cute. <laughs> I'm like the biggest kid there. I know. Thanks for dragging me. Even though neither of us remember this at all. Rachel, you don't look happy. <laughs> look how cool Rachel looks. Oh. My God! So this was at the Crystal Palace. Is that what it's called? Oh, so cute! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> Give Dad a kiss, Tigger! Drinking her lemonade. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they write with those hands. Aww, You're so cute. Literally. You're the cutest ever at that age. <laughs> Okay, go ahead. 
Now you can go up. <laughs> I love our hats. Going up to the fourth floor. <laughs> we probably had those till like last year. <laughs> or they're still somewhere in our basement. <laughs> guys it's Sunday morning and it's not even 9 a.m. and oh I can't even express to you how much we did yesterday like I just can't believe <laughs> we literally worked like physical labor <laughs> from like 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. ish like going through all this stuff going back and forth to recycling center in Goodwill bringing all that furniture like different furniture down and around and all over the place like oh my god so I'm surprised I woke up as early as I did but it's good because now I can get gas at Costco before like it gets really crazy there so hopefully not a lot of people are there this morning and then I'm gonna get Starbucks because I just feel like I deserve a vanilla cream cold brew after yesterday so that's my plan for this morning we have some other like organization things and like setting up Rachel's work desk because we brought down that one that my mom is either gonna use or we're just gonna have in that other room anyway um, but we need to set up Rachel's work desk and then we have like stuff all over the couches in that room that we're gonna need to deal with but for right now, all I'm worried about is getting gas and getting coffee because I just can't even think right now. Gas secured. Let's see how long this drive through line is. Oh my God, is there no line? That would be insane. Okay, there's like a little short reasonable line. Oh my God. So 9 a.m. or pre 9 a.m. seems like the time to get to Starbucks and it's weird like I would normally order ahead but the vanilla sweet cream cold brew especially if I get a venti or trenta I get an extra like splash of sweet cream because it just like evens it out better it's like better for the ratio and like the flavor ratio <laughs> And uh, um, I can order the drink, but not the extra splash of sweet cream on the app. But I can order it in person, like no problem. So I'll just do that. And thankfully this line isn't long, so it's not a problem. What can I get started for you? Could I get a, a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew with an extra splash of sweet cream? Alrighty. And that's everything. 472 at the window, thank you. Thanks. Whew, I'm so glad that's such an easy order. Like I've been seeing all the crazy like TikTok drinks and stuff that first of all are so expensive. You would definitely want to use your stars to get them, but they're so complicated. Like I would, only order them through the app because I've ordered some crazy drinks in my time um, like spoken and I always get so embarrassed and so like nervous and everything but yeah I'm just sticking with my vanilla sweet cream cold brew till pumpkin um, cream cold brew comes back because that should come back um, let's see, on the 24th, so very soon, um, and you best believe I will be getting that as my go-to drink until they run out of pumpkin sauce because, whew, that one is so good. Like this, the vanilla sweet cream cold brew is extremely similar, but I love like the foam on the pumpkin one, so can't wait for that.
Hi. Oh, thank you. All right, thanks. No, no, I'm good. Thanks so much. <laughs> oh my God. I didn't know she asked if I wanted a straw. No, I'm good with the sippy lid. I actually really like their new, I don't know if they're new, but they had like two different types of the like, um, no straw lids. And I really like this one, like where it like lips up. I think that's just perfect. Oh my God. That is literally the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. All right, you guys, finally heading home. It's only 9.12 and I'm done with all, I mean, I only had to do two things. I only had to do one thing, but then I got Starbucks, so. <laughs> now we're looking at pictures from this trip that my dad has on a like CD. And this is my favorite picture I've ever taken of Rachel. Those were my sunglasses. It's so symmetrical. I you know. Yeah, this looks like a literal photo shoot. But you're in your car seat. <laughs> but you look like a socialite or something. I love this so much. <laughs> I look a little crazy because I only have this eye done, but I wanted to show you these magnetic lashes that I really have enjoyed. So these are the same ones that I wore on Friday. So this is just the liner with the lash. I'm not wearing any other makeup. And so I wanted to show you how easy it is to apply these. And you put the liner on and you just let it dry. And you literally just place it and it's amazing. Like literally, I can't get over that. And I wish I would have tried this sooner. And what's really cool to me is that you use the same glue with like any of the Kiss magnetic lashes. So I really like this because you can do it super quick. I always wear eyeliner anyway. And I just love this. Like it almost looks like I have lash extension, extensions or something. So I really, really like this. And my perfume today is a perfume de Marley Meliora. This is such a gorgeous rose fragrance. This is Oh my gosh, easily one of my favorites that I've tried from Parfum de Marley and I've liked pretty much all of the ones that I've tried and can't get over these lashes, I love it. Um, but yeah, oh, it's so beautiful. Like I think this works really well for day or night. It's probably a little like heavy for this time of year, but whatever, I was just vibing with it, so yeah. I'm not gonna do makeup today. We've just been chilling and I don't really know what um, I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, but it's my mom and dad's wedding anniversary. So they are potentially gonna go out to dinner as long as my dad feels comfortable like taking his crutches out. So that's kind of undecided. And my grandma's coming over to visit. So that's kind of my only plan. And then I don't know. Maybe me and Rachel will organize or just chill. Not sure. So, my project today has been going through tons of old photo albums and photos and then like narrowing down the ones like mostly of our family versus like our extended family. So, we'll probably send them some and then photos pre me and Rachel and like with me and Rachel. And so I just put together this photo album that starts with literally the day of my birth. <laughs> and I've never seen this photo before of my mom and dad and me as a baby. And my mom looks, I feel like she looks so much like me or I look so much like her mm -hmm. in like at this age and she was 30. So it's just really cool to see like all these really old pictures from when I was a little baby. And then it like 
kind of goes like year by year. I tried to do it in as close to chronological order as I could. And there's just so many great photos that we have. And I love this photo of my dad and his siblings and me. And oh yeah, some from science fair. And oh, here's Rachel. So we need to get like Rachel's beginning, you know, yeah. it just kind of goes into there's yeah. Rachel. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll fill in the gaps, but just took a lot of work to get to this stage. And oh my gosh, this is like my favorite photo ever of me, Rachel and our aunt Karen on her wedding day. I was a junior bridesmaid and Rachel was the flower girl. And then here's Rachel, like literally basically during the, res or during the ceremony, she was falling asleep while standing. And so like immediately after she fell asleep in my mom's arms, which is so cute. And then yeah, just kind of goes through all the different stages of our lives. <laughs> Up until, like, I'm in, like, beginning of high school. And I love this family photo. I've never seen this one of us. And that was when I was, like, in seventh grade, I think. And I just really, really like that. So, anyway, that's what we've been doing. We have tons more photos to go through. Rachel's starting a old photo album. Mm. So, that'll be cool. And, yeah, takes a lot of work, but it's worth it. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I feel like I did nothing this weekend because all I did was clean. <laughs> and oh, so sorry if this was the most boring vlog ever, but that's just how my weekend was. And I'm so exhausted. I wish I had a weekend after this weekend because I do not want to go straight into the work week after this exhausting weekend but it has to get done both the housework and the work work so i'll power through and all that good stuff so i hope you guys are all doing well thanks so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye